loss in Bihar was a shock for the BJP. They had really put forward Modi as the face of their campaign in the state. He visited multiple times. And to lose under those conditions was a blow to his aura of invincibility. That said, I don't want to overstate the extent to which members of the party felt that there was a need to reevaluate their strategy. Many of them chalked the loss up to an unusually energetic and unified opposition coalition. They still are looking for ways to modify and evolve their campaign platform, however. In Bihar, as in previous elections, they ran on a platform of development plus, the plus being a moderate form of Hindutva or Hindu nationalism. In Bihar, they only won 8% of Muslim votes with this platform. That's not going to be a successful strategy in states with upcoming elections and large Muslim populations like Uttar Pradesh and Assam. So they are looking for ways to modify and perhaps moderate their platform. And one of the things I think they've hit upon is this anti-nationalism campaign. I think they see this as a winning strategy because no one wants to say, oh yes, I am anti-nationalist. That said, they will always fall back on Hindutva when they feel it's necessary. For instance, the recently appointed party president in Kerala is a career member of the Hindu hard right. The other modification they've been making is a renewed focus on the farmer and on agricultural issues. All of Modi's major policy pronouncements since the loss in Bihar have been agriculture focused, such as the crop insurance scheme and the pledge to double farmers' incomes by 2022. I think the loss was a reminder to the BJP that farmers in India want to hear what will be done for them as farmers and not just as future members of the middle class.